Hey, I'm Ace reporter Devin Thompson, standing in one of the most historical stadiums in NFL history. Holland Stadium, located at South High School, where Marlon Briscoe, the first black starting quarterback in NFL history, played games here in 1967. Marlon will put on football drills at his front yard, and throwing the ball in rain and snow. A natural and dedicated athlete, Marlon played quarterback from all the way to Pop Warner, to Omaha South High School and Omaha University, which is now UNO. In 1968, he was drafted to play not quarterback, but defensive back for the Denver Broncos. Although he wasn't given the opportunity to play quarterback at the time, his opportunity would still come. On September 29, 1968, Broncos head coach Lou Saban summoned Briscoe from the sidelines in the fourth quarter against the Boston Patriots. Starting quarterback Steve was out with an injury and the backup wasn't performing. Marlon made a comeback and completed a 22-yard pass in the fourth quarter and almost pulled off a comeback. The next week on October 6, 1968, Marlon made history as the first black starting quarterback in NFL history. Marlon set a rookie record in the runner-up for Rookie of the Year but he wasn't allowed to compete next year due to the fact that he was African American. That 1968 season with the Broncos would be the first and last time Marlon Briscoe started quarterback. Marlon Briscoe broke down barriers in 1968 when he became the first black quarterback of the modern era with the AFL's Denver Broncos. When starter Steve Tensey went down with an injury, Briscoe stepped in. He threw 14 touchdowns and over 1,500 yards in 11 games. After being released by Denver at the end of his rookie year, he played eight more seasons in the NFL, including a 1970 Pro Bowl season with Buffalo and two Super Bowl championships with the 1972 and 73 Dolphins as a wide receiver. He never played quarterback again, but in just 11 games, Briscoe blazed the trail and made an impression that will last for generations to come. His whole life story, it's a great story from where he came from, how he was able to overcome obstacles, um, and his, his accomplishments in life were great. And uh, his fall was just as great, but he was able to recover from that. So it's a great story from that standpoint. Mr. Briscoe, the first starting black quarterback in the NFL history. So Mr. Briscoe, can you tell me where your football career started at? My football career started when I was about nine years old in Omaha. Uh, in the Pop Warner League, and we used to play our games over in Boys Town. And uh, some of the most uh, famous players after, you know, the boys and girls, I mean, at the uh, Pop Warner League, uh, they started in that league, Gale Sears. So, how was your time staying at South High? Oh, it was, it was awesome. It was great. Uh, love and uh, preparation of the judge. Uh, it was special uh, for me uh, to have that honor, uh, to have my neighborhood recognize me. Uh, uh, it's just tremendous. Uh, it's just tremendous. And then I ask you, how was it trans transitioning from South? Back then, African Americans on the team to transfer into UNO, where there were very few African Americans on the team. Well, actually, there weren't that many African Americans on our team at South High. Uh, you know, we lived in a melting pot. I grew up in the projects just, you know, blocks away from uh, South High. And, uh, you know, as a melting pot community, we had different nationalities. Well, we really didn't have that many African Americans uh, at South at that time. Uh, it's funny because uh, I grew up in a project. We had the black projects and the white projects. The black projects, we didn't have that many units. And we were just kind of clustered in, but everybody that lived in the black, so called black community, uh, we were very close. And the great athletes came out of that little small community uh, in, in South Omaha. Uh, when I got to college at UNO, it was Omaha University, by the way, at the time. Uh, there still wasn't that many uh, 
blacks uh, on the team. Uh, back in the back in the day, uh, we were still trying to get enough scholarships for black students. It wasn't that much of a difference. There weren't that many blacks going to college, yes, especially at South High School. We only had seven blacks in my graduating class of 550 kids in South Park in 1960. Unfortunately, you don't know that football team. Well, you know, it's a sad, you know, sad, sad deal. Uh, you know, after 100 years of excellence, sending so many guys to professional football. scales were 